Hey, this is Daniel. Leave a message. Hey, Daniel. Still not picking up, huh? Don't even know if you're hearing these messages. Well, I got the job. You were the first person I wanted to tell. Anyway, I hope you're doing okay. And call me back, maybe. Dude, why'd you leave me alone at the pool? You're supposed to wake me up two hours ago. Sorry, man. Hey, be honest with me. Do I look burnt? No, you, you look good. Bronzed. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing down here with all your stuff? Did you check out? I just really don't want to be here anymore. But dude, I just got in. We're supposed to finish that job together. I know, but... Ah, oh, no buts. I know she's calling you. Sorry, I look at other people's screens when they don't pick up. And you're not picking up. See? Now you're being melodramatic. <laughs> the girl I like made me sad. So I'm going to ignore and run away. What? <sighs> you weren't there, Ben. She lied straight to my face. You sure about that? I'm not going to repeat the same mistake as my last relationship. Right. And your strategy is to run away every time there's any trouble? It's not perfected yet, but something along those lines. Just because you've been burned once before does not... Okay, twice. Three times? Man, you really do need to make better relationship choices. And that's what I'm trying to do by walking away from Jean. No! There's a difference between stupid decisions and stupid reactions. I don't want you to ignore this girl for weeks and then miss out on something really good just because of a misunderstanding. Look, we've all been hurt before, but if you treat every potential relationship like the last one you had, it's bound to fail. I think that's what I'm doing? Look at me, right? I just got burnt big time. But does that mean I'm gonna give up on bronzing? Yeah, you probably should. No way, right? As soon as the skin peels off and a new layer regrows itself, I'm going right back out there with a better sunscreen and a parasol. That is a really, really weird metaphor, but I think I get what you're saying. I think. Hey, let's finish this job at the pier. It'd be good to get some fresh air and think things through. When's your emo flight? Not for a few hours. Perfect. Let's head over. Yeah. Let's go. Up uh, first. Help me up. Oh. Yeah. Ah! This is so awesome. How is all of this drama in my life awesome? It's just like all the soap operas I watch, except it's happening in real life. It's crazy. No, it sucks. Well, that's what you get when you steal a stranger's luggage, fall for him instantly, but also keep your ex-boyfriend around. Make it sound like I planned it all, which I definitely did not. Then why did you get back in contact with Jeremy? Especially after all that he did to you. I think that's exactly it. After all he did, I wanted answers. I just had too many what ifs. Didn't think he would actually come back. Well, that's boys for you. They always want what they don't have. You're not really thinking about giving Jeremy another chance, are you? I am not going to date Jeremy. Good. Wasn't sure after he just showed up. I'm smarter than that. His timing didn't help either. Well, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I don't think it's really Jeremy's fault. What? You say you don't want drama, but you go and do the complete opposite by keeping your ex-boyfriend around. If you're actually serious with things with Daniel, you should have made it very clear to Jeremy that things were over. You can't linger in the past if you want to move forward. It just can't work that way. I lingered, huh? Majorly. But it's not too late. You guys just need to talk. I've been trying, but he's not answering my calls. <gasps> oh no, he's not picking up the phone? Now there's no way to reach him. He's also supposed to be flying to New York today. <gasps> oh no, now it's impossible to communicate with him ever again. What do you want me to do? Well, this 
could totally be like a drama. Okay, we have to run to the airport. I'll make up a story that I'm an heiress to the airline, pretending to be a commoner who falls in love with a spy who has to flee the country. They'll have to shut down the runway or and- I know the hotel he's staying at. Let's just go there. That's exciting, but okay. okay. Sorry, sorry. Gene. Jeremy. How are you everywhere? Look, I swear it's just a coincidence this time. But I'm glad I ran into you again. Um, we didn't really get a chance to catch up with everything going on. We should do dinner sometime. Uh, yeah, fine. I mean, no, no, we can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore, I should say. I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm sorry. Jeremy, it was good seeing you, but I've thought about it and I want to make it very clear that things are over and I can't linger in the past if I want to move forward. Wow, okay. I don't know what to say. Say you'll stop stalking us. Say you just want me to be happy because I honestly want that for you. I do, of course. Thanks, Jeremy. Now, I don't want to sound over dramatic, but I have to go stop someone from getting on the plane. Hey Daniel, I ought to grab some shots from the beach. You wanna come? Go ahead, man. I think I'm gonna call Gene back. <laughs> it's about time. <sighs> Whoa, Gene, your phone. Hello? He checked out this morning, then for sure he's already at the airport or on the flight. It's too late. Call him one more time just to make sure. My phone. It's not in here. Oh, you are a mess today. The love of your life is getting on a plane to fly away across the country. You lose your phone and there's no way of stopping him! Are you sure this isn't a drama? I guess it might be. Maybe we should run to the airport, but then we get caught in traffic, so I'd have to act like I'm really pregnant. And then we could just drive right onto the runway, and you can jump in front of the plane. And okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Me? Plane? <laughs> no, okay. Let's just, you know, live in the real world and... Yep. His buddy Ben just checked in at the pier, which means Daniel's probably there too. I mean, love your idea. It's very juicy, but let's just go there and see. Well, how do you know Ben? He had me as a friend. Through you, I'm guessing. Creepy. I got a cold, and you got one too. My silly heart says you're a fool. Go take care of her. She's all that you've got, all that you've wanted. No, that you're not. Daniel? Jane. What are you doing here? Well, you wouldn't answer my calls, so I did what every normal, overly dramatic person would do and used every type of social media to track you down. Ben and Lynn are apparently best friends online, too. Said you were up here being emo. Come on, it's not that bad, right? Let's just talk now that our heads are clear. I'm sorry. sorry. Huh? What? After you. No, no, please. I want to hear this. 
Remember when I said I lived here in LA before? I came here for college to be with my girlfriend at the time. When we got here, life took her in a different direction and her priorities changed. And she ended it. It wasn't a very good time for me. And my relationships after weren't much better. I guess with you in that letter, I saw it happening again. And then I overreacted just because I liked you so much. I shouldn't have reacted like that. I'm sorry. I believe you were apologizing too? I don't know if I just needed more closure, but I had this idea that coming here meant that I should come after Jeremy. I was weak and it was hard not to think of returning to something comfortable. But when I met you, I realized I don't just want to be comfortable. I want more than that. Daniel, you... By the way, are you looking for this? <laughs> Where'd you get that? First you steal my bag and now my phone? Actually... Gene, your phone! Hello? I think you'll be seeing her before I do. Thanks. Second chances are hard to come by. Make it count. Aren't you gonna miss your flight? Yeah, I guess I am. So, what happens now? Let's just let the sun and stars move. I feel like a boat without a sailor. I go and the wind blows. Man, we are good. So good. All it took was our awesome selves and a little bit of modern technology. Yeah. I think they'll be good from now on. So. What's up? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I don't usually look like this. What? Oh, it's the hat, isn't it? Oh, come on. You, you know I can't walk that fast. Wait up. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I'll know when I find you. There's a missing beat inside of me. The rhythm of my heart, it's uneven beat. There's a missing piece inside of me. Trying to figure it out, but it amounts to. Nothing I 